everyone welcome back to my channel today i want to demonstrate a scalable saas software as a service platform that i have built using laravel and react so my solution uses a multi tenancy with multi database architecture this means every time a user create a new store on this platform the system automatically spin up a completely isolated database just for them so let's start so first of all i just simple uh, register a new user and i just simple name this user as my name afnan and uh, in the email i just simple pass here my email and in the password i just simple pass this password okay just simple create account and now here you can see a user account is created and now on the dashboard it show and reflect here total store total categories total products so as i told you earlier uh, every user can create its own store and its own categories and its own product okay so i just simple simple uh, show you the database overview as well and now here you can see this is my database that is multi tenancy okay and within this database i have a users table and i just simple refresh it and here you can see this is the user that we created and in the user i have a role so in the role i have a simple user role and admin role so basically admin see all the users and all the store that are created and user just simply see its own store its own store categories and products okay so this is the users table and i just simple open the tenants table and in the tenants table whenever user create a new store it basically give uh, give this store a id and uh, pass here the names like store name here in the id place okay and uh, in the store uh, it automatically add the store detail user id name description tenant id and all the things okay so this is it this is the basic structure and also i have a domain domain table as well and uh, in this whenever a user create a new store it automatically add uh, here the domain name that user put and uh, tenant id as well here so these are the table in my central database multi tenancy database okay so now uh, i just simple show you uh, we just simple come here and uh, now i just simple create a new store and now this page is showing very look good and amazing and uh, now i on this page i just simple create a new store and i just simple name this as pet shop and in the sub domain i just simple pass this name here and in the description i just simple pass here and in the description i just simple pass here all things related to pets like this okay so you can add any other here so i just simple create a store and now here you can see uh, the store is created and it pass here the store name pet shop and sub domain as well and description as well so i can uh, just simply click on this manage and uh, and now here you can see my store is created and now uh, i just simply show you a comp uh, a thing that is most important and now i just simply come to database and uh, just go here in the tenants and i'll just simply refresh it and now here you can see it pass here the uh, tenant name pet shop and in the store as well it pass the id pet shop description tenant id as well and domain in the domain it pass here pet shop dot localhost so you can change here for uh, we can change here uh, the domain name as well and now in the domains it auto it also add here the data pet shop dot localhost and tenant id so that's great amazing and the most important thing here it it uh, create a separate database for this a uh, store and now i just simple show you here uh, i just simple uh, refresh it and now here i just simple search here pet shop and now here you can see tenant dot pet shop and it create a separate database for this specific store and within this uh, i have a categories and products okay and now i just simple and within this i have a categories table and products table okay so this is it this is the thing like uh, each store has its own uh, database and uh, now let's manage this store i will add a category and a product uh, in it okay so i just simply come to categories 
and now this is uh, the categories page and i'll just simple add here a category like uh, electronics okay and now here in the description uh, it's uh, related to electric products okay and now i just simple create this category and now here you can see category is created i can add it and delete it but uh, before this i just simple come here and go to categories and now here you can see i don't have a categories table when i'll uh, categories data when i'll just simple refresh it it add this category data that we added in this table so this is it this is uh, this store thing that is done at pet shop and uh, that's why it add this store categories in its own database okay so this is it and now i can i uh, also edit it as well i just simply pass here this and just click on save changes and now it's updated as well and in the database it also updated so that's it and now i just simply go to products and in the products when i'll just simply click on add product and now in the categories show me this so basically it is completely isolated and each store has its own data and now that's why it is showing here its own store categories okay and now i just simple add here another category like uh, clothing and uh, it's about clothes okay just create and now go to products and uh, here in the category table you also add it and now i just simple add product here and uh, I just will pass here headphones and select a category and I just will select this category and pass here all things related to electrics okay and I can pass here this uh, price as well and stroke as well just click on add product and now you can see my product is uh, added and it pass here this category as well and in the products table I show you this is the product that is added so that's it that's amazing okay so this is basically the multi tenancy with multi database architecture that i make each user can create its own store and so now here you can see each store has its own categories products and create st uh, store thing as well okay so now uh i just simple show you the overview of from the admin side as well and now i just simple login with admin uh, and i already have admin user i just simple show you from here from the multi tenancy here you can see i have a admin user and its role is admin and now i just simple login with it and now here you can see admin can see all the store store owner its products and its categories okay so we can do in it many things many things uh, as well like separate domains uh, already we done it but we can add in it more feature as well like each uh, each user has its own store multiple products multiple add to cart features checkout features and uh, payment gateways payment plan as well so this is the basic concept idea of multi uh, multi uh, tenancy with multi database and uh, i just simple show you one uh, more thing i just simple log out here and now i just simple uh, register with a new user and i just simple name this as uh, unity and pass here unity at the rate gmail.com and password and password okay and now here you can see this user is created and now i just simple uh, create a store and here i just simple name this as gym gym and it's uh, related to health products okay just click on create store and now here you can see this uh, store is created successfully and now from the database i just simple show you this is the multi tenancy database that is the central database and i'll just simple go to tenants and here you can see i have this new store as well that is gym and uh, i just simple refresh my databases and now just simple search here gym and now here you can see it automatically create a new separate database for gym as well and it's have its own categories products okay and on the admin side i just simple show you i just simple reload it 
and now here you can see i have an other store that is gym and its user is uh, different and uh, its products and categories are zero because we did not add it yet so this is it this is the basic concept idea of multi tenancy with multi database we can uh, use this concept this multi tenancy uh, with multi database concept uh, in many other ways as well but this is the basic video basic idea of how we can use this multi tenancy with multi database architecture uh, in this uh, store creation or store uh, like e-commerce project you can use this in many other project as well so this is it this is the basic concept idea and i hope you like this video and if you want me to to make complete video on this uh, project then comment below and uh, i uh, and see you in the next video thank you for watching